Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Pista. In this video, I am going to show you how to add watermark on Microsoft Excel document. If you would like to copy protect your Excel document, then you must insert the watermark for all pages. Whenever you are sharing the document on public place, this will show to the user that the content is copy protected. So your content will not duplicate. This video shows how you can add the watermark on Excel document. Open the Excel document, what you would like to insert the watermark. In this Excel sheet, I have uh, many pages. So I would like to add the watermark here so I can just enter the copy protected. So I have to go to insert tab, then click on the illustration. Here you have to choose the shapes. Select the rectangle. I select the rectangle here. Choose the white, then type the copy protected. Now we have to increase the font size, so select the rectangle, then right click and click on the format shape. Here you have to select the fill option as a no fill, then the line also no line. So now we have to increase the font size and change the font Arial black. Now we have to change the color for this text as a gray color. So we have to select the text option. Here we can select the gray color or we can increase the transparency as 80%. So, so now you can properly move into the copy protected text to your content area. So we have to reduce the size. Now the watermark has been set properly. The problem is if you would like to add the watermark for all pages, this will not repeat it. You can check here, go to V page layout. Here you can see the copy protector watermark set for only the first page. If you move for the other page, the watermark is not set. If you would like to set for the all pages, it's not possible to add text watermark on all pages. So if you would like to repeat the all pages, you have to make the image to repeat the watermark on all pages. So let's see how we can repeat the watermark logo on all pages. We can use the header and footer option to insert the image so we have to click on the add header then you have to click on the header and footer tab here you have to click on the picture then you have to select the picture what you would like to import now you have to see the logo has been added for the all pages you have to reduce the color of the watermark so you have to select this and click on the header and footer here you have to click on the format picture in the format picture pop-up page you have to click on the picture then you have to select the color as washed then you have to click ok see now the watermark has been set to transparency so now we have to set the logo as a center of the page so you have to just select the cursor here then have to enter what you would like to move the watermark so you can see here the watermark has been moved here so if you would like to move more area so you have to click on more enter so now the logo has been set on the center of the page in this way you can create the watermark on all of your pages thanks for watching this video if you would like to more informative video subscribe this channel if you like this video don't forget to touch the like button